Goofy Grandma by Nancy Cusinata, illustrated by Ellis Cordero. Nellie wiped a tear from her cheek as she read the note. I don't like it when Grandma visits. It makes me sad, Nellie said. Honey, don't be sad, Mommy said. Remember all the fun you have with Grandma. I never have fun with Grandma. Nellie stomped her feet and ripped the note into tiny pieces. Her face felt hot and sweaty. Grandma is just too weird. I can't stand it. I know she's a little different, Mommy said. But she loves you so much. I'm going to go out forever, so Grandma can't find me. Nelly slammed the front door with a bang. Nelly sat on the porch steps. Hi, Nelly! Her friend Katie shouted as she whizzed by on her new red bicycle. Do you want to come visit with me? And Grandma Elvira. Nelly felt like her stomach fell to her feet. Yuck! Another grandma to deal with. Nelly thought. Come on, Katie said, as she whizzed by a second time. At that very moment, Grandma Hilda, Nelly's grandma, turned the corner. She was wearing a purple polka dot dress and a red hat with a long feather. Her striped socks reached her knees, and her shoes were hard and wooden. They made a clop clop sound as she walked. Grandma Hilda's short round body jingled jangled up and down as she walked. Her chubby face was smiley and bubbly. In a wink, Nelly jumped on the back of Katie's bike. Quick, let's go! Nelly said. In a flash, they were there. Nelly caught sight of Grandma Elvira by the front door. Grandma Elvira was tall and skinny. Her silver hair was neatly pulled in a bun. Her wire-rimmed glasses were perched on the end of her nose. "Hello, darlings," Katie's grandma Elvira said as she opened the door. "Just in time for a spot of tea." Nellie raised her eyebrows and glanced at Katie. Grandma Elvira was wearing a long black dress. Her dress had a white lace collar. She had on long white gloves. Nellie whispered to Katie, "Gee, your grandma is weird too." All at once, it hit Nellie. She studied Grandma Elvira hard. I guess all grandmas are different from each other in some way. Different doesn't always mean weird. All afternoon, Grandma Elvira kept pouring tea and telling long, boring stories about her crocheting. Nellie's mouth opened, and a big yawn fell out. I have to go, Katie," Nellie said. While tugging on Katie's ponytail, why so soon? The fun's just beginning," Katie said. Grandma Elvira poured more tea and put little crumpets on a silver tray. I have to go, Katie. I have very special company today. Grandma Hilda is coming to visit me. With that, Nellie ran to the door and raced up the block. She was out of breath when she reached her door. Nelly looked behind her and saw Grandma Elvira flying up the block, carrying her silver teapot and crumpets on a tray. 
The teapot shook from side to side as Grandma Elvira bolted up the block. Nellie saw Katie running behind Grandma Elvira. Grandma Elvira was running so fast she nearly tripped over her long black dress. Mommy, I hope I'm not too late to see Grandma Hilda, Nellie said as she ran into the house. No, dear, Grandma is in the basement. She has been waiting for you, Mommy said. Nellie quietly opened the door. She saw Grandma Hilda rollerblading to wrap music all around the basement. The front bell rang, and Nellie ran to open it. There stood Grandma Elvira, all smiles, with Katie beside her. I just had to meet Grandma Hilda, Grandma Elvira said. I've heard so much about her. Perhaps Grandma Hilda and I can visit and have some tea. The sounds from the basement poured through the living room. What's that noise? Grandma Elvira said. She wrinkled her nose. Grandma Elvira rushed down the basement stairs, trying to locate the noise. Katie and Nellie were right behind her. Grandma Hilda was spinning around so fast she nearly knocked Grandma Elvira and her teapot in the air. Grandma Elvira clutched her chest. Oh dear, what have we here? What's happening? Grandma Hilda asked. I beg your pardon, Grandma Elvira said. Would you like a spot of tea, Grandma Hilda? Can't stand the stuff. Got any Kool-Aid? I can guzzle a pitcher at a time, said Grandma Hilda. I'm afraid not, Grandma Elvira said. Suddenly, and without warning, Grandma Hilda grabbed Grandma Elvira's arm and swung her around. Grandma Elvira and her teapot fell to the ground. There were crumpets everywhere. The two grandmas stared at each other. Then they began to laugh. Oops! All at once, what chaos! Nellie and Katie stumbled over the two grandmas. Now everyone was on the floor. What a sight! There were arms and legs everywhere. Nellie and Katie looked at their two grandmas on the floor and burst out laughing at the sight. What a silly, goofy grandma I have, Nellie said. I hope she moves in forever and never, ever leaves. The end.